G'day, it's Pete here, and we're back again for another weekly free instant tournament. So to get in, log into Bridge Base, go up to Solitaire, then Weekly Free. All right, let's see what we can do. Okay, I've got 14 partners open for hearts. So can we make can we make six hearts? I would need partner to have like ace queen to eight and an outside ace. I feel like that's way too much. Like plausible, but I'm not playing them for that. Okay. So we have three spade losers and a couple of diamond losers. Uh, I could try and trump spades. I could like win and lead a club and see if they just hop with the ace thinking that maybe I got singleton queen can lead towards my king of diamonds. Uh, let's just trump a club and then just lead. Um, it's going to trump a club and lead a spade, but maybe I want to lead a spade from the south hand towards the 10-9. Probably. There's the eight. We can take a roughing finesse of the... Uh, the Queen of Spades. So we can win there and just lead the Nine of Spades. Do they cover? We They do. And now we can just rough and uh, we've got the rest. That was 100%. Okay. That was ridiculously friendly. <laughs> like... They covered the spade, they hopped up with the ace of diamonds, they led the heart. Um, I don't think I did anything particularly fancy. I was worried about going down for a little while. But, uh, I think just trying to rough that spade was important. Okay, 12. So one club, one diamond, two clubs, not inverted, just uh, willing to compete. And I got a double. Um, I'm just going to compete further to three clubs. I was hoping to jam them out of finding their spade fit. Um, we're vulnerable against not. I don't think we can make five clubs. I don't see any reason to double them. Heart lead. Good job, partner. Very happy to see that. Yeah, I'll just uh, set up this heart. Partner's played 7-2, so they've got a doubleton. My tenor hearts is a winner here. Okay. Maybe I did have a reason to double them. Okay, so we get the Ace of Diamonds, we get the Ten of Hearts, and that'll be it unless we give Partner a Trump promotion here. Like maybe Partner's got the Jack of Spades. Like maybe they have to guess what's going on in Spades whatever that they did. Yeah. Wait, partner. They hooked partners nine. That's harsh. 96%. Again, didn't do anything other than I immediately competed to three clubs. So, hey, Carlo, how's it going? Uh, here, lots of people are passing and then competing to three clubs. Now, firstly, two clubs is never getting passed out. Like, they're not passing out two clubs double. So they're going to bid. Um, the concern I had is I really didn't want them to find their spade fit. Or another way of thinking about this is you want to apply as much pressure as you can immediately. Letting them have room to say, this is how many points I've got and whether or not I want to push. Uh, you're giving them multiple bids when we just want to try and compete as high as possible to three clubs and then just leave it there and make them work out what they actually want to do there. So uh, we're at 98 after two, so solid start. We've got a 13 count. Club double, redouble. Uh, double would be penalties. Looks like I just want to pass for now, see what partner does. I don't really want to let them just Oh, still penalties? Like, I really want to try and compete here, but bidding something like three clubs seems ludicrous. 
So. All right. Um, I think we just want to lead trumps and make it so they can't cross trump this hand. They're going to be hard pressed to set anything up. Uh, Dummy had 11. I had 13. Okay, so they're not trying to cross trump this hand, so. Diamonds were 4-4. Four, four. Why did partner continue a heart there? They hopped up with the queen and then just led another heart. That is so strange. I don't know what they're doing. So... Just let them have it and see where, where they want to take this. I'm ducking this in case partner's got the king and declare has got the ace. So if that's the case, then they have to choose um, what, like, they might not be able to finesse. Okay, partner had the ace. So I was imagining a world where... Um, Spades were four triple three. Probably could have counted some more points. Two diamonds down one, 18%. Yeah. Um, but if partner had king fourth spade and I hop up, then they can uh, finesse. Yeah. I wanted to try and get to three clubs. Uh, felt like bidding two clubs here felt not great. Like that shows an unbalanced hand. But, like, I assumed that at some stage I could make a takeout double, just saying, hey, I want to compete. Where, what do we want to do? Um, so I'm not the biggest fan of just bidding two clubs here. Um, but then, yeah. I knew that doubling one diamond was penalties and doubling two diamonds as well would be penalties. <laughs> and if we didn't want to do that, then we're in trouble. But I guess we had to double them and just uh, lay always off. Yeah. Could have got plus 200. Maybe I should have gone for that. Uh, 16. One no, pretty straightforward. Two spades. I have nothing more to say. Glad I'm not on lead here. I like I had eight king of diamonds I could have started with to have a look, but uh, really glad partners on lead to see what they want to do. Um, I'm going to run this. I may as well cover here in case partner's got the 10 and they have to guess whether to finesse. Nope, they're not guessing. So partner had a stiff spade. I kind of knew that. This did say six spades. A little bit careless of me. I have a feeling I'm going to get end played on this hand, and I'm not sure what I can do to get out of it. They're right. uh, not end playing me, at least. They're just setting up their queen. They're off, and that's it. 42%. Not sure I could have done anything really there. Some people competed to three hearts. They started with a double. Um, so Carly said, I know I'm a bit off shape, but I doubled one diamond. What do I think of that? Um, I just really don't see what the issue with one no trump. I think one no, like I sometimes double with four triple threes, but here we've got the perfect description of one no trump. So. I really don't see any real reason to, to double this. Like if I had a 14 count with a four triple three, I might double. I often do those sorts of doubles more when I actually have a four card major. Here I'm kind of surprised that our partner didn't um, push on to three hearts after we'd opened a, a no trump there. We, they know the points are relatively split. They know the opponents have a spade fit. So I feel like they should bid to three hearts anyway. Um, right. 
So we're back down to 64%. Board three, I feel a bit harsh done by i feel like i wish i had better system agreements somewhere that i could actually compete without actually having to just insist on clubs and um board four i think yeah don't mind um so we've got a great hand here we've got a hand that wants to investigate slam so like let's imagine partners got king queen of heart king queen of diamonds an ace. Okay. Well, I can bid four hearts, which is a splinter. The robots just always sign off over that. But I should probably trust them on this case. I need partner to have two, two key cards, like king, king, queen, ace, king, queen. I need a nice 14 count. I saw the King Queen of Diamonds, saw the Ace of Hearts, and I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> um, kind of surprised that they didn't cooperate. This is a great hand for cooperating. 12 highs, Singleton Club as well. Like, this highlights that they just never cooperate over the splinters. So, um, But, uh, yeah. And uh, we got taking 12. Did no one bid the slam? Okay, someone bid the slam and someone made 11. Okay. Board six. Another great hand. Uh, we've got 12, 15, 17. This is going to be really tricky if partner bids a spade or a heart. Um, I'll just read bid three diamonds. I think the robots play this as strictly forcing. Um, but what do I think about SJS? Single jump shift? I, I'm not sure what your SJS stands for. Well, we, we just missed another slam. Um, oh, strong jump shifts. Uh, I don't tend to play them. Um, I find that there's probably better uses, but like they're fine. If they, if they come up, it's fantastic. Yeah. 39%. What are people... Bit? So some people are raising three spades to four spades. I did give this some consideration. Um, I feel like partners should have a six card spade suit. And your stiff ace is okay. But I thought this hand was just going to be fine for three no. Um, but like partner seriously undercooked this hand, I reckon. <laughs> One no. <laughs> One diamond and then two no trump. I feel like a diamond and then two no trumps is kind of out there a bit as well. Like, you got the right strength, but, like, I feel like you'll miss six diamonds if when you bid this way. Or you'll always play in four spades opposite, like, any 6-2 fit, which, you yeah, like, four spades could be the right spot, but. I feel like a uh, partner could be doing better on board board of six. All right. This hand, another strong hand. Can we miss another slam? Um, so I could open a diamond. I could consider two clubs. But, nah, I'm just a one diamond opener, but... I really want to double and have partner bid three no trumps. Could do something strange like bid three spades. Maybe partner bids three no over that. Like, partner hasn't doubled. If partner raises to four spades, it's bad because 
Like I wouldn't mind partner raises to four spades. I then just bid five diamonds and partner passes, just knowing that I've done something creative with my three spade bid. Uh, but here the robots will just keep putting me back into spades. I, I'm not happy with the five diamond bid, but I really don't know uh, what else I can bid. But it looks like five diamonds is the spot, which is pretty rarity at match points. But um, so what we're going to do is see if we can sneak one uh, club through. Uh, um, we'll cross in diamonds. See, it's harder for them to hop up with the ace if it's there. Um, I could have considered leading the queen of clubs through someone, but uh, yeah, if I snuck one club through, then uh, maybe I could have um, uh, made 12. There. Final board. We've got 13, 18 high card points, so pretty normal double to start with. And partners wandered in with two diamonds. The opponents have spade fit. Kind of want to bid like three hearts asking for a stop. I don't, so I don't think five diamond, six diamonds will be on very often, so we'll just go for five. All right, uh, a diamond loser, no spades. If well, I can trump my two spades, I've got a heart loser. Question is, do I want to take a diamond finesse? So, uh, parents have an eight card heart fit, but they didn't find their heart fit. I've led a club which looks awfully like a singleton. Let's lead a diamond and consider our options here. So if I finesse and it fails, um, then they're probably just going to play a club and give their partner a rough if East actually has another diamond. But that club lead sort of really looks like a singleton. Now, do I think that they've got two singletons? Probably not. They also haven't led a top heart, so they probably don't have ace king of hearts. So West probably has one of those. So I think East is like Ace, Queen of Hearts, King of Spades, King of Diamonds. So cash there. Um, now uh, I can rough two spades and a club. Finish with 92%. King, queen, king, king. So I was pretty close on their points. And yeah, finished with 63. I was pretty happy with that. Um, I think most of my choices were all right, even though they didn't pan out well in the mid game. Um, kind of surprised that my early decisions actually got such good scores. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed uh, this weekly free instant tournament. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.